comes to our ESG activities, our customers love what we're doing and our colleagues love what we're doing and it's really important that they're working with a business that's doing their bit and playing their part. Having an ESG strategy means that we've got a framework that we can work to and help us structure our environmental, social and governance activities. We're really passionate about what we do as a business, but we're also really passionate about how we do it. In terms of some of our environmental activities, it all starts off with education. And for us, it's about making sure that our colleagues are aware of the impact that they can have on the environment. We uh, committed to planting 200 trees last year. Uh, we planted 120 of those trees at the Rookery School in Handsworth. They'll help to remove carbon dioxide from the environment. But it also means that the students that helped us to plant those trees got an education. We've also um, invested in network rationalisation and we've removed some of our legacy networks to help to reduce our energy usage. On the social side, we're really passionate about being a fantastic place to work, focusing on our colleagues' skill development, giving them promotion opportunities. We've got apprenticeship and graduate schemes, a women in tech group, that's in response to women being underrepresented in the tech industry. We still find that even at an application level in our recruitment, we have more men come forward for technical roles compared to girls. Uh, we work with a head partnership that connect businesses with local schools and educational institutions, making a difference to young people's employability skills. As a business, we're really, really passionate about giving something back to um, charities and the community. Anything from supporting our colleagues fundraising, we do things like company donations through our sister company called Guiding Light Investments. We donated £30,000 to support NSPCC for the day, so we sponsored their Childline service. We've also donated £30,000 to a Ukrainian uh, crowdfunding appeal. They deliver supplies and aid to the Ukrainian people. It's just incredible the, the work that they're doing. We also do a number of volunteering. Each year our senior leadership team will go out and support a, a local project in the community. So we've done things like Acorns um, Children's Hospice, painted some fences and residential properties for Mind. So each year we put on a charity golf day and a number of our network, our customers, our suppliers, they all participate in the golf day and they raise money for charity. So last year we supported St Basil's, which is an incredible charity um, that support youth homelessness. We raised almost £6,000 for them last year. So in terms of our governance, we've got strict controls in place and we ensure that we're compliant with all regulations. We've got a whole host of uh, certifications and frameworks. We use a company called EcoVardis to measure our sustainability across four different areas. The environment, what we're like as an employer, our ethics and sustainable procurement. And I'm delighted that we've been awarded a platinum level Eco Vardis accreditation and our score is in the 99th percentile. But there's lots more to come from us. We are now very much focused on what we can do to get to net zero as quickly as possible. And we're focused on doing more for our community and making Intercity an even better place to work.